definitive guy to who's the best bear, actually. The smart guest. Fuck. That's what she said. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. I'm back once again for some books recommendations based on the office characters. So let's get right into it. First up, Jim, Catch 22, Joseph Herr, because it describes Jim's condition quite well of being trapped with idiotic rules and self constraints. Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad, a gift from Pam, and as usual, way deeper than the initial pun and not just about boats. Moneyball, the art of winning and unfair game. Michael Lewis, a deep dive into baseball, money, and underdogs. Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari, a pseudo scientific book about choice in love. Saga by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Regan, a sci fi comic book about the struggles of a family fleeing authority. So, next up is Pam. First choice for Pam is Keith Herring's journals, the daily life of a fellow main character. The second sex by Simone de Beauvoir discusses the treatment of women throughout history and is a major feminist book. Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, a tale of fate and connected characters. Persuasion by Jen Hustin, a love story sharing some elements of the Jim and Pam storyline, mainly not being on the same wavelength timing-wise. Lastly, Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood, the story of a painter going back over her childhood memories and her struggle with identity. Michael. First, I get Fictions by Jose Luis Borges. This is a labyrinth motif to show how Michael Minds works, so a really strange way, but still enables him to function quite well. Trade Love at Midnight by Marcus Korn, nominated for a Best Original Screenplay, then the award in 2011. The Godfather by Mario Puzo, I mean, the guy basically wrote it. Either this one or The Art of the Deal. The Devil was Prada, because Michael is an unconditional fan of Mary Strip, and Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire. Michael did not look inside and thought it was recipe book and a few dental health tips. Now to Angela. First up we had Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. A romantic novel to read in a comfy chair surrounded by your cats. Little Women, Louisa May Alcott. Despite the obvious pen, it's the coming of age story of four sisters. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Perhaps the hardest read of them all because of the themes explored but vital explorations. Violence, rape, race, told through Letters. We had Preacher by Garth Ennis, a story of a possessed preacher trying to find God in America. On to Dwight. First up, The Revenant by Michael Punkio, definitive guide to who's the best bear. Moby Dick by Herman Melville, the classic tale of longing for a dream that might or might not backfire at you. The Code Book by Sam and Singh should be in every Frontier Series handbook. Shogun by James Clavell, inspired by Dwight's love for Asia, Dwight's guide to becoming the master of his paper kingdom. On to Oscar Martinez. So first up we get Heartstopper by Alice Osman, a sweet and charming story about reduced love, coming to terms with your sexuality and queer struggles. The Art of Fielding, Chad Habak, not a Chad book, a romance story following five characters centered on baseball, Giovanni's Room, by James Baldwin, so almost a reclaw story, so centered in one room, set in the 50s nightclubs in Paris. Persepolis by Marjan Strappi, a comic book, coming of age story in Tehran during a political crisis. Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pynchon, because Oscar read it to prove he actually was the smartest guy in the office. Creed could have been redacted, but I did get my hands on the list first. Life by Keith Richards, so some say Creed supplied the stones with anything that he did during their exile in France in the early 70s. Treasure Island, Errol Stevenson, a middle grade adventure and private story. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, another coming of age story narrated by death during the Second World War. Finally, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, a fantasy heist novel with a not-so-ideal crew, and Creed may or may not be referenced in there. 
onto Ryan or Temp based on how far you are in the series, how to win friends by Dale Carnegie, so a self-help book to help you be more socially able and connect with people. A picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, one of my personal favorites, A Descent into Darkness of a Child Prodigy, The Circle by Dave Eggers, how have you not roofed about it already? And finally, The Wolf of Wall Street 1 and 2 by Jordan Belford. Ryan is obsessed with the story of this master and bezeler and his defiance of the law. Moving on to Kelly, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, the real romance story between a grown man and a 12 year old. The Secret History by Donna Tartt, the OG Dark Academia mystery novel. In the Life. Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert, so a sweet modern romance, part of a trilogy. And Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie, so a recent history of India after the British colonialists left, disguised as a superhero novel. Lastly, we have Meredith. We start with The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, a semi biography story about the descent to mental illness caused by society's norms. American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, so just imagine if. Maybe it's Snap and went on a drug and sex fuel rampage. Sex criminals by Matt Fraction, the story of a couple discovering they can freeze time when they climax and the following chaos. Finally, Stoner by John Williams, a campus novel following the life of William Stoner about a quarter of a little life. Bonus book, The Untold Story of the Office by Andy Green, Michael's personal recommendation because it's a cool biography. It was made after the documentary aired. It helps him pay for the new sibling. Alright, so that was it for these recommendations based on the office characters. Hope you liked it. See you soon.